On Friday night, Quebec-based promotion Ringside MMA invaded Montreal's Pierre Charbonneau Centre for an action-packed night of fights. In the main event, Ringside MMA lightweight champion Guillaume de Lorenzi battled UFC veteran Dale Hart in a non-title contest after Hart missed weight by an astounding 8.4 pounds. De Lorenzi landed two strong takedowns early, but Hart was able to hold his own by scrambling back to his feet and scoring on the hometown hero with his hands. In the second round, De Lorenzi immediately secured a trip and punished Hart with strong punches from top position. Hart began screaming in pain with an apparent shoulder injury, and the bout was stopped. The Zahabi MMA product De Lorenzi, who improves to 9 and 1, discussed his path to victory. The plan was to uh make myself you know more comfortable with that guy at the first round and after that you know open the machine and uh, give everything I got so I got caught with a, a big hook at the, in the first round he was forced you know to to tap out so that's a really good I think for me I was I was getting my choke my rear choke I, I would have you know preferred to finish it but would, would I would, uh, would I would be able to? I don't know. You know, it's MMA, so we don't know. In the co-feature, unbeaten prospect Dustin Poirier, a prodigy of UFC middleweight Tim Crater, met hometown favorite Derek Gauthier. Poirier was swinging for the fences early, but Gauthier landed several nice body kicks trying to find his range. However, just 57 seconds into the matchup, Poirier connected with a crushing right hook and put Gauthier to sleep in emphatic fashion, leaving him motionless on the canvas for about a minute. Winning knockout of the night honors and improving to a perfect 7-0, Poirier elaborated on his strategy fighting on his opponent's home turf. Well, I'm not that kind of guy who even, you know, feeds off the crowd. I'm here to fight. I train hard. I know what I got to do, you know. This is my job, and I love my job, and I come here and do it. So the crowd, man, it's, it's no problem for me. I knew what he was going to do. I just knew what I had to do, and uh, I, I did it. Tim Crater was thrilled with his fighter's performance and expressed enthusiasm about the rising level of competition on regional mixed martial arts shows. I knew he was a very good kicker. Um, I didn't think he was as confident with his hands as he was with his knees and his punches. And as you saw, Dustin has phenomenal hands. We're just starting to see young talent like Dustin and Derek Gauthier just um, really bring fights that even, they're, they're not necessarily in the UFC, but they are incredible. And, and we can really start seeing that talent at a local show level. In welterweight action, highly touted Zahabi MMA student Alex Garcia faced off against Ricky Goodall. Within seconds, Garcia unleashed a relentless onslaught, taking Goodall down at will and raining down heavy blows. Garcia quickly capitalized when Goodall gave up his back, sinking in a rear naked choke to force a tap out at 4.05 of the opening frame. Garcia, who is now unbeaten in three pro bouts, credits his teammates for his continued evolution as a mixed martial artist. I feel very good. I, I was very, very comfortable because I trained very hard this fight. that was very in good shape, so I was very relaxed with this fight. Another one of Garcia's teammates was also victorious on Friday night as Dalen Logan defeated Frenchman Lloyd Galindo. The frenzied fans erupted in support for Logan as he took the fight to Galindo, relentlessly pursuing takedowns and winging heavy punches. But the Free Fight Academy product was able to reverse Logan in the final moments of the opening round. The onslaught continued in the second stanza as Logan secured a takedown and followed up with strikes. But the fight did not end without its share of controversy as Logan connected with an illegal knee on the mat, which subsequently led to a fight ending rear naked choke. Post-fight Logan, who improved to a perfect 5-0, writhed in pain as he appeared to suffer a knee injury. In other notable action, BTT Canada standout Samuel Guillet clashed with Nova Scotia's Jason Rorison. Guillet dominated the majority of the fight, landing multiple takedowns, improving his position on the mat and pursuing submissions. Rorison held his own by returning to his feet several times and trying to cinch in a front choke late in the battle. However, the victor was apparent after 15 minutes as Guillet prevailed by unanimous decision.